Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Incarlution. Once again, we're in a situation where I'm forced to make progress, so I started recording because all I can do now is make the raft, and it was the next step. Here I'm showing previous runs as usual. All I did is try to increase my stats. I always do that before an episode, and now it's time to get started. Let's make that raft and see what happens. I didn't check uh, how long this game is, but I feel like I didn't even scratch the surface. So I need some more wood here, and we'll unlock a bunch of automation today as well. And now we're gonna board the raft and see where it sends us. Now sailing is starting to go up slowly. It was our new ability, in fact we'll get another one today. We'll go times 4 for this, but we'll even go to times 10 today. I want to go even faster for certain portions to keep the video flowing. Sail to the island. Okay, so my sailing is 1.17 and I'm stuck on a raft in the ocean or whatever. And all I have on me is uh, fish and rabbit. No, I don't have fish. I have apples. I stopped fishing. That's true. I'll go back to fishing again. Uh, it's just that it used to slow me down, but now I'm back to uh, fishing again. But anyways, it doesn't seem like I'm going to survive this. I'm just going to die on that raft. Not enough food. So there you go. We're dead. And now I have auto explore. Speaking of automation, I want to thank Pavel Jordan. Olivier Labrosse uh, observed that the setup that I made for automation slowed me down because I was not making the hut as fast as possible. So Pavel found a solution. He said to max out explore the area and that way it becomes a priority. So the first priorities are to make the hut and explore the area. Higher than cutting wood. This way I don't have to... Because I used to cut too much wood and get too much stone, max it out before building stone hut. Now it's as if I went manually, so I lose absolutely no time. It's fully optimized. So thank you very much. That's why I like interacting with you all so much. That's why I respond to every comment or 99% of them. Those I don't respond is the, the ones I miss. So we're going to explore the cave. This is all automated. You can see that my catch fish is off, as I said earlier. But now it's always on because my fishing is pretty good and it's gonna have to be even better. You'll see why when we reach our record. So here, once again, the stone hunt is maxed out. So priority would be to create the stone hunt as fast as possible. And it will only make the mass I need to make that hut. Therefore, it's as if I played manually because I was talking with Mr. Labrosse and explaining that I cannot babysit this game. I saved so much time. Um, I didn't check, but I think automation now reaches 15 minutes. So it's very important because I play so many games. Towards the end of the video, I'm pretty excited about how much more automation I'm about to get. And I'll show you that. So here we're making the stone hut and I believe my point is made on that. So I'm just going to edit on the fly once again and then we're going to move forward. Okay, let's try to see if we're, well, in fact, I just showed that I'm towards the end. We will make it to the island this time. I don't know how many times I tried, but my sailing is 2.21 after the, uh, I've got what's called a yellow bar boost. And now I'm going to walk to the village. I wish I could run to the village, not walk to the village. So let's speed this up. This is times 10 speed because I'm not going to make it. I'm going to die walking there of starvation. And we got cook rabbit and stone cart automation now. I don't remember if I'll set it up. Yeah, I'll set it up right now. So yeah, that's correct. That would work. Yeah. All right. So let's try again. And this time, I'll make it to the village and see what we got. 
Oh, a bunch of people and who have now the social skill. And uh, my social skills are pretty poor. In fact, I'm gonna die right there and I don't understand because I'm in a village dying of starvation and nobody's helping me. That's great. Thanks for nothing. I'm trying to meet somebody, the farmer, but I die. Alright, I guess I'm gonna try again and come back. See if I can meet one of those characters, see what happens. Very interesting. I really like this social thing. 1.46 now. Once again, it's boosted by the yellow bar, which is a temporary boost for the run, so I'm not so sure what's the basic numbers. So I'm about to meet the farmer, and let's see what happens when I do. Oh wow, so instead of helping me, he's like, yeah, just go gather grain and bake bread. Yeah, okay, sure. Well, I'm going to die here. I have no chance. Look at the bar going down, so I'm going to make bread. It's pretty slow, so my cooking is not fantastic. It's 6.91, but it's not enough to make bread fast enough. And uh, I'm going to die of starvation once again. So what I'm going to do is meet the fisher after that, and then the miner, just to see what they do. And increase my social uh, level while increasing the other stats until I can meet everybody in that village and understand what's going on. So this is time stand by the way once again. Die of starvation. Oh, it's always the cause of death, isn't it? Because they don't let you fight to death against mobs. Okay. So this time I prefer this one, so I met the fisherman. I can catch herring. What's nice about herring? I was looking for, hey, where's cook herring? You don't have to cook it. You can eat herring. Raw. Gives 80 health. Not bad. That's gonna help me with survival for sure. And my fishing times 11, 12, you know. I don't know if at that point I was back to, as I said, uh, turning on the fishing all the time. Maybe. Now let's try to meet the miner. See what he gives. Oh, I didn't make it. Now I can auto fight the wolf and auto explore the shore. The more automation, the better. That's for sure. Now let's meet the miner. See what happens. Just wanted to see what they, they were all about. And a weapon. A weapon. Increase your multiplier of your combat skills by 25%. I was talking about weapons very early in this. Well, we're still reading the series. One of the first episodes. I guess there are weapons. Okay. It gives me a recipe for a weapon, but um, now I need to meet the farmer. I'm about to die in about 15 seconds, but I can now dig copper too. Will there be a copper hut? Maybe. I'm making this up. I didn't reach that point. That would make sense. Maybe other huts. Copper hut. That would be expensive to build. Ouch. But I don't know. It's possible. It's a video game. It's fantasy. Okay, I'm not dying. It's a jump cut. I thought I was going to die. All right. So we're going to meet the farmer again. But when you meet the farmer, there's somebody else you can meet. The baker. Okay. So I decided to meet the baker to see what he was about. So we're going to fast forward this once again to make it watchable. I wish one day will be that fast without the time stamp meeting people. Stone Haven, I can improve my cooking. So I can improve my fighting. I can improve my cooking. Okay. So what if I meet everybody? Now I'm able because I met everybody, right? Uh, but not all at once in one run. So let's try to do that. So I meet the fisher. I meet the farmer. I meet the miner. Then the baker. Hey, and I can meet the mayor. And now my imagination was running wild because with games like this, of course, hey, there's lore eh? also in the storyline. I should read it. I was uh, telling myself he's probably going to send me on a mission or something like this. My goal was only to meet everybody in the village, so we're almost done here. 
when I play on my own, I'll read the lore to see what the mayor told me because he's going to send me somewhere. And to prepare, I'm gonna have to make that copper club and stone oven. They say um, entering the forest will mean you lose access to the jobs in the town. So I don't know if it means for the construction too, but of course I'll make my copper club and stone oven before entering the forest to be really ready to fight and have a better survival rate because I'm a better cook. So we're gonna fast forward this last part and then go towards the conclusion of this video. Here I'm just uh, <laughs> trying to survive with uh, gathering grain and making bread, which increases my stats of course. And what's pretty cool is I can almost auto sail to the island and auto walk to the village. That's how many tries that I made. But with the additional automation, it's much easier to make progress. So, once again, if you're interested in those numbers, you can pause the video and check them out. Really cool, that social thing. Very clever. Really enjoy this game. I'm gonna keep playing. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.